Kimberly Jacobs. Um, we're here today to just do a quick little snippet on should I have my student tested? Um, I'm gonna assume the testing question has to do with um, academic achievement, learning disabilities, and qualification for an IEP. Maybe, the answer is definitely maybe. Um, students that are struggling in school with a learning disability need to be accommodated. Maybe work needs to be modified, but definitely they need to be um, supported so that they can be successful. That doesn't always mean that we need academic assessment and that we need an IEP. But if you had an SST meeting and they've gone through um, interventions and they've documented interventions that they have made attempts um, to support your student and you've been doing your part at home, doing your things that were in the action plan, and your student is still struggling and getting frustrated, I would definitely have them tested before they quit trying. Um, I've seen students at the older grades who just, you know, started acting out. They didn't really care. They stopped trying anything because they weren't gonna be able to do it well anyway. But a student who is getting passing grades and not having discipline issues probably should not be tested, even if you think they might be struggling with an ADHD, ADD, or dyslexia, because students, just because they have a disability in one area does not mean that they are not um, super intelligent. A lot of kids will have disabilities and be able to figure out how to work around them. So if you see one thing, like dyslexia, where the writing is still back and forth, back and forth after the age of eight, and you're like, oh no, it's dyslexia. If they're reading, it's okay. That means their brain's already processing, already doing the extra work so that they are being successful. So if the only trouble you're having is the letters back and forth, or maybe it's just spelling, it's okay. I wouldn't um, go through the it's not a hassle, but I wouldn't have my student pulled out of class um, for hours and hours of testing if they are making progress and it's just you know a little thing like spelling or they need a little extra time with the test and the teacher's already giving it to them because that is an accommodation that can be made on an SST. So if your child is struggling in the area but they're, they're making up for it and they're being successful, I wouldn't pull them out for all that testing I don't think I would need to have a label to know how to help my student because things like dyslexia um, don't have a pill. There, there is no pill that's ever going to make it better. So knowing there's visual processing or not isn't really going to change what teachers can do to help your child. Um, and obviously ADD and ADHD, there kind of is a pill. Um, my brother um, suffers with that and he started taking um, some kind of vitamins and herbs in college to get his engineering degree. But elementary school was really hard for him. And some of that is just taking away the onerous, um, busy work that goes with practicing to learn something. So, you know, it might be that you need to have the SST meeting to say, he's gonna tell me his story and I'm gonna write it as the mom. Or use Dragon Speak. There are few, um, free technologies now where the student can say the story. I mean, heck, get on YouTube and tell the story. But you always want them thinking at the appropriate grade level. You always want them evaluating and creating and understanding the world around them. So the work production piece can be very important to some teachers. And the work production's purpose is to demonstrate an understanding. So it might just be you need to have a conversation that your child's going to demonstrate their understanding in a little different way. So should you have your child tested? Definitely, maybe. Um, if they if there's more if they need more support, then you can get through an SST process, um, and they're not being able to kind of work around it, um, and you're not be able to do an extra help at home. I would say go for it, um, and and you can write a letter and ask for a meeting and ask for an assessment. But you're going to have to have some data showing that they have been struggling and that there have been accommodations and that people have been trying. I hope it turns out well, so definitely do that, maybe.